Anyway guys, thanks for joining me again. Um, so I've just filmed a video on my first aid kit and how much that weighs. Um, just to recap, I'm stuck at home, hence why I'm only in the house. I have a badly sprained ankle, so I'm off work. Um, so I've just weighed my first aid kit. Um, and I was thinking, why not weigh some more stuff? So I've gone through my 10 C's. So the 10 C's of survival are Dave Canterbury's idea on uh, the 10 things that are hardest to replicate in the wild or the 10 things you need ideally to survive. Now that doesn't mean they have to be 10 items, you know, they could be 20, they could be 30, they could be 10. These are just the hardest things that you um, you can replicate. So I have multiple cutting tools because in my mind each cutting tool has an individual job. So let's quickly run through the uh, 10 C's of survivability and I've got them written down in front so, so I don't um, don't end up being in, looking like an idiot. So cutting tool, combustion, container, cordage, cover, cotton, candle, compass, cargo tape and combi tool. Okay, um, so those are his 10 C's. So I thought, why not do mine and the weight? Um, so this doesn't include the bag to carry it. You can just carry it in a black liner or you can carry it in a big expensive Fjall Raven bag or, or whatever it is. So I haven't weighed a bag. So let's start. Now they're not in any specific order. They're just in the order that I found in my bag. So start off with cook kit. So my cook kit is the Dave Canterbury uh, cup and bottle. It also has another cup in there um, plus things to dangle it. We've got a spork, a spoon. We've also got a couple of handkerchiefs, guys, which is also considered considered my um, my cotton material. So there are two handkerchiefs in there that are usually used for cleaning, but I can use them for charring if necessary. So that stays in there. So that entire kit, empty, no water, um, is 700 grams. Okay. So from there, we're looking at fire kit. So for fire kit, so combustion, um, you have a ferrous rim rod, we have some tinders, we have um, the pocket bellows, we have a lighter, we have some matches. Okay, so multiple ways of starting a fire all in one kit and that's kept dry. Okay, so that weighs in at 500 grams. Sorry if I keep looking down, that's exactly where my notes are. So from there we have a tarp. Now my tarp is pretty strong with lots and lots of paracord, so I have my paracord also in here. So the tarp with ties is 1.2 kilograms, and that's a three by three. So it's it's easily a one man um, shelter. You know, you can you can string up a little bit higher and have it as a workspace, um, or you can have I don't know two, maybe three people sleep underneath here. I don't know what the record is. Please tell me if um, if you guys have done more. Um, but yeah, we also have a tarp, so that's a cover. So from the tarp, we're now looking at cutting tools. So. Yeah, um, so knife, that's a decent sized knife. This is my um, my take on a Nessie, and um, she's a big blade. Um, so there, in the sheath with the knife, um, that is 800 grams, okay? So 800 grams. We have an ax, okay? Now this isn't always necessary in the UK. I know a lot more um, people in America and stuff use them. This is a Grandsfuss Books Small Forest Ax. That weighs in with the sheath, it about a kilogram okay as i said guys this isn't going to be accurate this is literally my wife's baking scales so um yeah from there we also have a saw in its sheath 300 grams this is the laplander nothing special about a laplander it's just a good quality saw so laplander so those three items are my cutting tools from there i'm going to go into candle so candling material or candling um, tool i've got a head torch Okay, this is the Phoenix head torch, that's 200 grams with a battery. Um, now obviously normally you'd carry a spare battery, but that weight is negligible really. Um, from there, compass. Now in my opinion, there's no point in having a compass without a pad of paper. Okay, so we've got a right in my rain pad of paper. Um, compass with a pad of paper is 100 grams. From there, cargo tape or duct tape. Okay, that is a full roll. Um, that's a, literally a brand new roll. You can obviously cut it down and have smaller sections. In fact, I've got some in my in my fire kit, which is around my lighter. Um, that's 300 grams as a full roll. Um, so yeah, you can buy the, the one inch diameter stuff and, and only use half a roll or, or whatever. But yeah, then you have a combi tool. Now this doesn't really weigh anything, so it wouldn't really register properly on the scales. Um, so let's, let's assign a hundred grams. It's nowhere near that, but let's assign that. Okay, so just a small Victorian Knox. I think it's the classic. It's the, yeah, just a nice cheap version. So 
in total, my intensities weigh just under five kilograms. Um, so yeah. Now the intensities is missing one thing, in my opinion. It's a first aid kit. So the first aid kit for a recap, that first aid kit, that bag with the tie outs and, and so on and so forth, weighs one kilogram. Okay. Um, in total, all the first aid kit I carry is 1.5. So if you add really all of that up, you're looking at about six kilograms, six and a half kilo for tensies, including a first aid kit. Um, and a lot of people will say my first aid is, is extensive or overkill. And there's a lot of things in here, which are also in the tensies. So there's uh, matches and stuff in there. There's your cutting tool, technically. Um, there's also a cover in there. Um, so yeah, but there you go. So please feel free to comment what you would carry as your tensies um, and how much it weighs. Um, and yeah. Please like, comment, share, etc. And I'll see you on another video. Cheers, guys.